Is Taylor Swift faking her accent? Over the years, fans and critics of Taylor Swift have noticed how her speaking has changed over the course of her career. Even though she started with a more Southern American accent, this has recently shifted to a more general or Northern American accent. Here is what she sounded like at the beginning of her career. It's just so exciting because last year I came and was kind of incognito as a writer. And here is what she sounds like now. You know, we have so many exciting things ahead of us. I'm continuing on with the tour. Researchers from the University of Minnesota have studied the way that Taylor Swift speaks in interviews from the years 2008 till 2019, and what they discovered is deepening our understanding of accents and dialects. In 2008, Taylor Swift released the album Fearless, one that was written and recorded in Nashville where she was a growing country music star. During interviews from that time, researchers noted that she had distinctive features of a Southern American accent. For example, she said her I sound closer to an A sound, resulting in words like rad instead of ride and exciting instead of exciting. The interesting thing is that Taylor Swift would lose these speech features as she moved to Philadelphia and then to New York City where she would release her album, 1989, her first official pop record in 2014. By this time, she also had a lower pitch of voice. Researchers confirmed that yes, Taylor Swift was changing certain features of her accent, but she was probably doing this unconsciously. For example, she had a Southern American accent when she was trying to break into the country music scene, but when her focus shifted more to pop music, she adopted more of a general American or Northern American accent. Researchers also point out that neither accent was fake. Taylor Swift was simply adopting accent features of the speech community that she was trying to be a part of. This is something that all humans do. The researchers also said that by studying Taylor Swift's dialect shifts, we can better understand how language and accent plays a part in somebody's identity, especially when it comes to social group and geographical location. Follow me for more videos about accents, dialects, and linguistics.